the previous video you've learned how to create the Google map and display it on your site and in this video you're going to learn how to create the marker on the map so let's begin so as you can see this is the marker and this is the kind of marker we need to create uh, the user can use okay it will define where the user is okay so um, I'll go back to our JavaScript file and uh, in the previous video we had learned up until here so just below this we'll put these set of codes so we had created a variable called marker and now we're going to set that the value of the marker equal to new google dot maps dot marker okay so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, it takes a certain uh, uh, properties and values so first it takes position so what should be the position of marker where should the marker be uh, located on the map so it requires latitude and longitude values so either you can uh, you know put this value uh, the center value which is the la latitude and longitude values or you can use uh, this center value as well so all we have to do is we've already created an object uh, called map options all we have to do is get this property so we'll say map options dot center and we'll get this value and that's what we're doing over here we can also define it uh, ourselves so you know we can define put this you know just just copy this whole thing and we can paste it over here uh, over here to get the uh, in case if you want the marker to be at a different location but for now we'll just use this okay and then the next uh, property it takes is the map uh, we we can write new google dot maps dot map and then the element and the map options over here or we can just write this variable over here it's the same thing so it takes the map object okay then uh, it says the draggable so the draggable means that you know whether the marker should be draggable or not so right now as you can see this is fixed i can't move the marker i can move the map but not the marker so if you want to move the, move the marker then you can set the draggable property to true and that's all we have to do we create a, um, a variable called marker set the equal set it equal to new google dot maps dot marker set all these positions and sure enough you can see that um we'll have the marker created right you've got this position and it's draggable also I can drag it wherever I want if I set the property of draggable to false then we won't be able to drag it so let's try that so now you can see I can drag the map but not the marker okay so let's put that back uh, I also wanted to explain to you a certain more things like the icon so in case uh, sometimes you define this icon boring so you can change the icon all you have to do is define a property called icon okay uh, and set the value equal to whatever image you want okay so you can put the image source over there refresh it and sure enough you have this marker I, I didn't have any other image so excuse me for that but uh, I'm sure you get the idea that you can go ahead and use the uh, link for any image that you want to put okay so let's put that back cool um, <clears throat> right now also I wanted to explain to you a few other properties that I couldn't earlier so zoom 8 means uh, so we had uh, created a variable called map and we had set the uh, map options values to these uh, zoom means how much uh, zoom should be there for the map so if I change this to 20 uh, you'll see that the map has been zoomed to 20 yeah uh, so let's put that back uh, center we've already just explained uh, this disable default UI so disables the controls like zoom control uh, on the map and if it's set to true so if you set to true sometimes uh, you may not want these uh, you know buttons over here so if you set the disable default UI to true then those buttons will be gone so you can see now that these buttons the zoom in button and the uh, magnifying button all of these been gone okay so let's put that back uh, the next one is scroll wheel okay so if you set the scroll wheel to false uh, it disables the scrolling on the map okay so you won't be able to scroll it uh, in case if it that sets to false so false okay so right now it won't allow me to scroll because the map is not big but uh, if there was if you would have put that to false then it won't allow the scrolling okay next is draggable if you set this to false you won't be able to drag the map let's try that 
And you can see that you no, know, you can't drag the map now. Yeah, you can't drag it. Okay, um, so let's put that back. Then you have uh, this feature, which is the uh, map ID. If you set the map ID to, um, let's say, satellite. Satellite. So google.maps.mapid.satellite, then you will have the satellite view on the map. You can see you've got the satellite view, right? And if you put that back to, back to roadmap, then it'll have the roadmap. And if you put that to hybrid, then it'll be a mix of the uh, satellite and the roadmap view. Refresh it. You can see that it's a mix of roadmap and the satellite view. So let's put that back. Uh, so I just comment this out. Okay, uh, max zoom, if you set the max zoom value to an, a particular number, that would mean that um, you won't be able to zoom anything more than 11. So let's try it out. Zoom, and now you can see that you can't zoom more than 11, right? I'm clicking on the plus button, but I'm not able to zoom it any further. Similarly, if you put the min zoom, if you set the value to min zoom, it won't allow you to go more up than 9. So these are just good to know information just in case you want to. So as you can see that I can't go further than 9. I'm pressing it but it's not allowing me. So I'm going deep, I'm going inside. I want to come back. I can't go uh, more up than 9. Okay, so that's a min zoom. Okay, so let's comment these out. We don't need them now. Okay, great. So in this video, you've learned how to create a marker. Uh, you've learned what are different options that you can pass into the map options, which is passed as a second parameter to the uh, google.maps.map. Okay, and uh, I think if you go to... No, if you go to this particular um, URL, JavaScript reference, you can see that there is a map class. Okay, so google.maps.map class. And it's got all the methods that you can use, get bound, get center, get div, and it does different sort of things, right? Set center. So we'll be using some of these into our future videos. Uh, let's just go ahead and console the map and see what do we get inside this map. Okay, so first we'll find out what do we get inside of this Google. Okay, so let's try that. Console.log. Google. Let's get rid of this. So as you can see, this is the uh, object that we get. We have the maps, okay, which means that Google is an object with different sort of methods and properties that have been explained over here. And this Google uh, has got the property as maps, and that's what we are trying to access. Google is an object, and we are trying to access its property called maps. That's why Google dot maps. You can see Google, and then dot maps, and then maps has different properties that we are trying to access. So over here, we are accessing the marker property. So if you scroll down, you can see that you have the marker property, and you've got different sort of things inside of that as well. Okay, so we access the marker method. Basically, it's not a property, it's a function. As you can see, it's written F. So it's a method that we're trying to access to create the marker. Then google.maps.map is another method, as you can see over here, this one. So google.maps.map, this is also a method, right? Uh, we are try using this method to create a map and dot marker method to create the marker. And similarly, we will go ahead and, uh, you know, use other methods as well in order for us to perform different set of tasks. Okay, so um, in the next video, uh, we are going to learn um, how to, in fact, uh, before we move to the next video, let's also create, understand how to remove the marker. So to remove the marker, all you have to do is um, You would say marker dot set map, and that's null. Okay, so 
and now if you check refresh the page you can see marker is gone. So in case if you want to remove a marker, then you can use marker.set. Marker is basically the object that you've created out of this uh, new method. Okay, and uh, you can use the method set map, and you can set that to null. And the reason why you might require it because tomorrow you can, if you want to create multiple markers. For example, you know, I created um, this marker, and then I also want to create more markers. Probably I want to locate and show different addresses so if I want to you know create another one let's say variable marker 2 okay and I need to set the uh, a different location for that marker so I can do this I can get hold of this And I can change this to let's say uh, 40 let's say yeah okay so I've created another marker and that should give me another marker mm, okay maybe it's at a different location let me try that moment okay then that the locations had gone out of the focus area so I can change that to 34 and 150 Okay, and uh, once you do that, uh, you can see that I've created another variable, and uh, you can see that uh, the second marker has been created. Now, if I want to get rid of one of these markers, so all you have to do is, depending on which one you want to get rid of, let's say I'd, I want to keep the first one, I want to get rid of the second one, so all I have to do is say marker two, dot set map, not, and then null, and you can see that marker is gone. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Uh, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. And in the next tutorial, we are going to learn uh, how to create a search box for the map. Okay, so you know this is the input field that we have created, and you know uh, I want to go ahead and type something like you know Pune or some other other address, and then it should take me to that address, and it should uh, be able to you know give me some list of the searches for that. So we'll learn that in the next video. Okay, see you guys then. Bye bye.